we fuck down at the club But yet yeah, you're here in my arms The calling is crazy I know that it's crazy Not logical Against all odds I call it love I call it Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching the video and sticking around to the end to hear my thoughts uh, and uh, like what I think about these uh, comparisons. So I'm going to go through quickly of the setting and then comparison, the second one, and then I will do the autofocus, um, my thoughts on that, and then the backlights. So uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the um the setting the setting that i make some change um i think last time if you haven't seen the last video i set the uh, sunlight uh white balance uh, because it's a sunset hour shoot um i set the sunlight white balance uh, for the um, a7 III so that um, i'm trying to make it uh, warmer but in some cases uh, there's still colder tone in it so um but i adjust it in the post already i added some um, warm tone in the post um, but anyway so that's the thing that i change uh 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then one plus uh, one plus one i just want to give some contrast uh, out of the um but these are uh, keep in mind that these are the jpeg uh straight out of the camera and you can change it in the post and then uh, shoot raw plus uh, jpeg uh, you can update different tones uh, later so um, for the xt4 i did the same thing um, uh, these two are weak and weak lossless standard and then the next one um, these are the same setting if you've seen the last video and then um, this time I set it 3 minus 3 so that it has a warm tone. That's why you see the warm 
um, overall tone because there's some like still some four color in the back. So it's good to have uh, minus three or minus four. Uh, either one of them it will work. And um, later if I compare with the Canon camera, I might put it back a little bit more because the Canon um, has a little bit uh, colder tone uh, for the EOS R. So I might do minus two, minus uh, plus two, minus two for that. So that's the thing uh, I want to explain on the setting. The second thing I want to do is some quick comparisons on that. And then let me pull this out. I have something open in the background already. Those are the two um, original photos. And you can see that uh, even I did the sunlight uh, white balance is still uh, the shadow is uh, colder than the shadow in here. But anyway, so let's zoom in a little bit more just uh, to see the difference and the bokeh. Um, keep in mind this 85 mm um, and then this is 75 equivalent. That's why the compression is a little bit larger in the back. And um, out of the gate, uh, I can see that um, the Sony is uh, sharper on the eyes and um, the 1.0 because uh, the 1.0, I'm not sure if it's the focusing or it's focusing on the um, um, the jacket. Um, but based on these uh, two photos, I can see that um, the the Sony is sharper. So um, the other thing, keep in mind um, the XT4 autofocus. Uh, since I have written down some autofocus uh, comments, um, the autofocus in the Sony is still uh, more uh, hit rate. Uh, the percentage of successful hitting the eye is still better than the Fuji. And um, for the IAF, um, a AFC. So in that case, um, maybe some of them are out of focus a little bit, slightly out of focus when uh, the subject is moving. But also in this one, also the subject is moving also. So um, just keep in mind that um, still have room to improve for the Fujifilm um, IAF. Um, I think um, to me, Right now, the Canon, the latest update for the uh, firmware update for the EOS R, it it did improve uh, a lot. Uh, but um, for the I think for the Fujifilm still need to some have improvement there. Um, that's um, a quick one. So let me pull up another one since um, we are talking about autofocus. I want to talk a little bit of the backlights. So let me pull up uh, two similar backlight and then you can see. So this one is the Sony a7 III. And then let me open another one. And these one are in the video also. So basically I'm just, um, just do some quick uh, zoom in and then let you see what's the, um, So maybe I zoom in here. Yeah, so the backlights, I think that's still a little bit of our focus when I'm doing AFC backlight. So uh, I will try AF as yeah, single focus um, to see if it improve a little bit or not. Um, um, when I'm doing AFC uh, combined with the backlight, I. Uh, the hit rate of the eyes uh, for the AFC, it did uh, reduce uh, for the 51.0. So I have to test out a couple more. But uh, anyway, um, on the A7 III, the, um, it has more photos that uh, focus on the eyes. So that's one improvement um, I can see. Of course, uh, these are also based on situation, but um, in today's sample size, um, I can see that um, it it has more hit rate on the A7 III. So um, let me open another one. So 
so I have this one to zoom in also and then I have this one the tone so um, the other one I want to talk about is the color tone so the autofocus uh, Fujifilm uh, still need to improve on that hopefully they have more uh, firmware update to improve catching up um, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, when we are shooting the four color uh, I think the three minus three is um, nice in the even tone um, the Sony even I choose the sunlight um, it still have some cold tone in it uh, it has some uh, very sharp like the eyes are very sharp but the overall tone I like the Fuji tone uh, on the on the on the skin and you can see the comparison is not the sharpest on the 1.0 uh, but the overall tone when you look in the picture as a whole um, it feels um, smoother you can see that um, but keep in mind that I also added contrast in the JPEG these are the straight out of the camera JPEG this can be changed also but um, what I'm talking about is um, just the defocus area and how how all the things combine together so just my personal preference um, for the sunlight uh, backlight I usually like the um, the warm tone out of the Fuji more but if you want sharpness it depends on different person's uh, requirements if you want just uh, the digital sharpness uh, I think some some people talking about digital sharpness is like very digital uh, sharp uh, on the focus area uh, but um, when you see the overall I still uh, prefer this one the, it has more retro frame um, and it depends on what's your own definition of sharpness and many frames um, old school frame when they talk about sharpening uh, like, um, it's not like the digital sharpness so uh, anyway that's um, just my thoughts on that um, but let me see what's the last one I, I noticed uh, one thing I talked about this already uh, this is the backlight issue for the A7 III so um, I think it's the face detect sensor um, I have a video before talking about the stripes striping issue you can see that the striping issue is still here so um, many different lenses in Sony has this uh, striping issue you can see that uh, the sensor um, because of the face uh, detect it created those uh, stripe I think it's in certain distance I can reference you to the uh, blog post so just a moment hello I'm back uh, so I just uh, just pull my um, blog post um, just so that you can have some reference and there's a fix on that um, I just put up a step-by-step -step fix uh, for the raw file and these are striping issues uh, I have this link on this uh, in case you encounter the striping issue you can um, look for the fix uh, but I, I really hope um, Sony has a live firmware update to fix their camera because um, if you have a lot of picture that with backlight uh, if you have this uh, striping issue so let me zoom in you can see that it will affect uh, very close to the face area as well so so yep that's the last thing I want to talk about and then um, let me know what you think in the comment below and then thanks so much for watching this video stay tuned for more coming up bye